You're mine, cop! You're mine, cop! Come here, you coward! Big Arm Tony's usually good for some smokes, but he ain't gonna talk to a cop in front of Gen Pop. You got no backup in here, cop! Hey, Badge, how about a round of one arm? Or is arm wrestling too strenuous? You win, man. 25 packs. Time to visit Wireboy over in the workshop.
25 packs. Don't smoke them all in one sitting. Nice. Here's your battery acid. Let it sit on the contacts for a bit and then bathe in the sudden darkness. But all that's useless without an escape route. Don't worry about it. You seen Tattoo around? Ah, after his escape map. Man don't know how to keep his trap shut, does he? Not the brightest star in the planetarium. He's probably back from work detail by now, though. Check the showers. I gotta see Tattoo in the showers. Is that... That's Shadow barking. Dumb mutt. You should put you down like your ex partner. Leave him alone, sickle. Look at here. Dead man walking. What are you gonna do about it? Dead man? I don't know. Why don't you try me? You beat that dog again, I will neuter you on the spot. You got that, Sickle? You bastard. Hang tight, boy. Things aren't over yet. <laughs> Tattoos made the showers his office. I hope there's no strict dress code. About the time they flick the switch, we're gonna be halfway back to a hot babe and a cool drink. <laughs> you sure you can trust our ride to be there? The gopher's my sister's old man's deadbeat brother. No ride, no money. He'll be there. Why don't you boys just shout it over the loudspeaker so everybody knows about the break? What break? What's it to you, cop? You're gonna be smoking out the ears while we drink fruity blender drinks on the beach. <laughs> Maybe I'll tag along. Run behind you guys, kicking your ass the whole way. Oh, how do you plan on that? Tell the warden you want to walk off that last meal of donuts and whatever else you cops eat. That's my business. I'm just here to see your map. Blow off, cop. Focus on tattoo. These other clowns are a waste of my time. What's going on in here? Tupperware party. What's it look like? Hey, you fellas seen Slate? Sickle's looking for him and he's pretty steamed. Watching him's your job, Keystone. I had what I came for. Now it was time to drop below radar and square up someplace safe to review the map. Like myself, for instance.
Jack! Jack! Kip Waterman, KLAY Action News. Yeah, I've seen your stuff. Listen, uh, I know you've been reluctant to do interviews, but, uh, you know, seeing this is gonna be your last chance, maybe you'd like to, you know... Yeah, sure. Why not? Son of a... <sighs> Tattoo's map wasn't half bad. It traced a route through the shower drain and a bunch of underground tunnels and ancient drainage pipes. This place was solid, but old, and it hadn't seen a whole lot of maintenance since Eisenhower was in the White House. I just had to hope the same could be said about old Sparky. In just a few moments, the raging controversy surrounding the murder of Augie Blatz will be put to rest with the execution of fallen police officer Jack Slate. Bearing witness today are Mayor William Pinnacle, Captain Dick Hennessy of the Grant City Anti-Crime Unit, who made the arrest, and a number of friends of the victim, including ex-heavyweight champ, Rafshoon Diggs. Cost me a hundred bucks to get the pleasure of frying you, Slate. But I would pay two. Oh, Heavenly Father, look into this man's heart and find the goodness. Look upon his soul with mercy and welcome him into your kingdom with open arms. Oh, dear God, give us a miracle. If this works, I'll be back to get you out of here, preacher man. The Lord don't like it, they promise us, son. Faith, Padre, faith. <clears throat> okay, okay, it's time. Hey, Slate! When you get to hell, mention my name, and they'll give you a discount. Jack Slate, on behalf of the people of Grant City, I sentence you to death by means of electrocution for the heinous crime of intentional murder. Do you have any last words? Not yet. Son of a... Somebody turn on the damn lights! It's sickle! Lockdown! I want this place sealed solid! Thank you, Lord. Praise Jesus. I gotta get to that drainage pipe in the showers before this map will do me any good. Stop right there, Slate!
Just follow the dotted line on the map. It should lead me right out of here. Blocked. I gotta find another way around. Looks like you need a mask. Looks like that ledge is my only way across.
Tattoo. Didn't think he'd get this far without his picture book to follow. A guy like him's better left in a cage with the rest of the animals. Think you still got another 20 years to go, short stack? Screw you! He's over Just, here! Uh, uh, He's uh, uh, Wallet says his name was Marvin Silt. Looked like a typical low-rent thug. I don't know why he wanted me for a hood ornament, but I didn't have time to worry about that now. I needed a place to hide, and I knew just the perfect spot. They say every criminal returns to the scene of the crime, but very rarely do the good guys. By now, Hennessy would have my apartment under watch 24-7, but I was willing to bet that that crime scene was still open thanks to the usual assortment of bureaucratic snafus. I'd hole up in Blatch's apartment, let things cool down for a bit while I planned my next move. I wasn't gonna get very far dressed like an escaped prisoner, so I figured I'd borrow some of Augie's clothes. He wouldn't be needing them anymore now that he's six feet under. I had plenty of work ahead of me. Solve my father's murder and find the guy who set me up. And to do that, I was going to need guns and information, more or less in that order. And there's one place where both exist in profusion, Chinatown. Fat Chow was always good for getting hardware, though he mostly provided for the triads and Yakuza, exactly the guys you don't want to have it. But right now, I didn't care, so long as he could hook me up with something powerful. Wherever you find Fat Chow, Trouble's never too far behind. He's one of those wannabe triads, but he's as slimy as they come. Frankly, I don't even think he's Asian. And what do we have here? A little payoff? Jack Slade!
complete. Put the gun down now. Walked in like he owned the place, which suggested he probably did. Eight bucks said I'd find ballistic merchandise inside. Well, 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 what sort of illegal gambling den do we have here? We need to chat. Jack Slate? There's a bounty for him, dead or alive! Better if he's dead! Guy named Silk. Yeah, yeah, he, uh, he, he hang out at Black Orchid a lot. I, I, what do you want? Why you do this to me? Hey, I just wanted to buy a gun, but I got plenty now. Thanks. You call the cops? You crazy? I just call for backup. Cops show up on their own. Time to get out. I don't want to start shooting cops. He's just doing his job. Freeze, Slate! Drop it! Call for backup! <laughs> Looks like Chow called for backup.
Can't let the cops spot me, or it's back to old Sparky. Call for backup! Where to? Black Orchid. So this guy Silt practically lived at this massage parlor. Time to find out why he tried to run me down. Welcome. Please, may I take your coat? I'll hang on to it, thanks. I'm looking for Marvin Silt. I hear he comes here a lot. Yes, please. This way. Hey, hand over the iron. I'm gonna want this back. Something smelled fishy, and it wasn't the sushi bar. They escorted me to a room and told me to sit tight. But I didn't have time for that. I had to find silk. This way. These goons aren't going to make finding silt any easier. My guns back first. Oh God, I'm gonna oh need God. to get my guns oh. back first. Oh God. Oh. Hey horse, I'd like my iron back if you haven't already sold it. I want to know who hired you to run me down outside the prison. Well, that, that wasn't nothing personal, man. I was told that if anyone other than Tattoo popped out of that pipe, to give him the run over. You was just at the wrong place at the wrong time, mate. Well, seeing as how I got your car, your phone, and your wallet, I'd say I was at the right place at the right time. Who gave you those instructions? A guy named Gopher. Said he was working for... Jack Slade, I presume. Uh. You can relax. I was only after Silt. Yeah, well, so was I, but I wasn't done with him yet. Sorry, had to be done. You want to point that somewhere else? You want to tell me why you killed Silt? Just settling a score. Somebody from Mayhem Inc. killed my brother, and I aim to put things right. Mayhem Inc.? What, that Assassin's Guild out of Broadway? That's the one. 
Figure if I kill them all, I'll eventually get the guy who snuffed my brother through a process of elimination. What about you? What's your beef with Baldy here? I'm trying to find a hit or two. You know of a guy about this tall, one eye, dresses kind of frilly, carries a gold luger? Gold luger? Sounds like Patch, one of the Mayhem bosses. Thinks he's some kind of designer killer or performance artist. Real expensive and real hard to find. Yo! Uh, what say we find someplace quieter? This chick's my only lead. I gotta keep her alive. Heads up, Jack. More thugs just pulled into the parking lot. Come on, tough guy. Well, that's pretty unorthodox for a hostess. What do you think? The hit girl needs my help. The place was surrounded by triad goons, courtesy of Fat Chow and his friends. He sure liked to carry a grudge, but they say an elephant never forgets. Alright, once we make it out of here, hang a right and head down the street. I'll cover your back. Cool beans, Fat Chow. Hit girl needs my help. Nice outfit, Chow. Think fast, Jack. I go with the double X next time. Well done. That was.
was fun. Why don't you give me a call sometime? Maybe we can do it again. You mean like a date? Hey, if shooting bad guys is your idea of a date, then yeah, like a date. <laughs> Eve Adams? That can't be your real name. And just like that, she was gone. Not the first time a woman like that has sparked my interest and run out on me, but I couldn't let myself get distracted. I had a grave to visit. My father's. It's all right, boy. I don't know where this track has taken us. But once we see it through, we're out of here. This place is sucking the life out of me. Whoa, Jack! It's just me. What are you doing here? Same as you. My Frank may have left me unemployed and buried in bills, but he was still a good man. Thanks. And sorry about all that trouble back at the club. Yeah, you should be. I got fired. Serious? Sorry about that, but you know, you're better than that place. Hey, the money was good. A lot better than what I'm making now, waiting tables down at the ore house. Hey, there's nothing wrong with being a waitress. Listen, I gotta ask. Do you have any idea what Dad was working on when he died? Oh, <sighs> muck diving for Gloria Exner, mostly. She wanted him to scrounge up some dirt on the mayor to help her win the election. She's kind of mad on against his stormtrooper police squad. You mean Gak? Yeah. And she thought maybe Frank could prove that the funds were being misappropriated and misused. Well, were they? Beats me. Just get out of here! I'll be having nightmares about this for months. Oh man, I always hated the circus. What's next? Zombies? 